So day two, we're on our way to the tube so we can go, um, go see some sights. No, we're going down. But the, the cards work. The tube cards work. The so tube cards work. We're in the tube. We're going. We're going down this giant escalator down to the subway station. Update: We survived the tube. I made it. Mom survived. Um, we're in Green Park now. And we're gonna go see Buckingham Palace. The daycare teacher behind us is explaining pretty much everything, so. <laughs> Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Cham Kine Sports. Ooh. Rick Tamlin Weather. And your reporter in the field, Gwendolyn Williams. Anna. It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. It's Wednesday at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Who knows what we're going to find here today. <laughs> Hi, so update. We're at Buckingham Palace and we're watching the changing of the guards now because there's a bunch of people here gathered. I hear drums. And we didn't really know why they were standing here. No, and there's a news team too. Do the news come every time the guard changes? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're marching. I don't know if you can hear the drum. I love how there's just normal people walking right beside them, trying to get to the palace. <laughs> so I was playing a lot of Mario Kart on the plane, and they have a London loop court, and there's this statue in the game, and I was wondering, is it real? Yes, it's real. We found it. It's called Winged Victory. And you can tell because this gate with the gold is in the background, and it's also in the game. So yeah, um, pretty much scavenger hunt. So while we were out on Piccadilly Place, Circle, Circle, Circus, the circus. We found um, the place where we're going to be seeing Moulin Rouge. I'm so excited. It looks so cool. That's our last night. That's our last show. Okay, so um, we're hungry, so we're going to go get boba at this place called Boba. All right, so we're getting our boba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And... I got these little motifs that are frozen. I'm gonna try them. That's mango. This is mango. Well, they're good. It's like a squishy gummy on the outside, then like ice cream on the inside. Do you want to try? I'm excited for the potato one. I'll save that one. The main one was really good though. What? There it is. It actually tastes like a stash. I feel like we should have done this one first because the mango one is probably like sweeter. You're right. This one tastes like a stash. It does. our first show we got some dinner in between did some tattoos I can I can put a picture up on the screen of them and got the outfits got the outfits on so yeah now we're just on our way okay so we're putting our predictions in before we, before we even see the show and yeah. these are these are our um, people here Molly Radson, Ralson, I can read. Um, 
I don't know. She's not that sus to me. They might be married, Giles. Oh yeah, and then her husband Giles. Or brother. That's true. Or brother. It was gonna be a reveal that they're not actually married. They're siblings. Yeah. Um, Miss Mrs. Boyle. She's got a nice blazer, really. She does. I'm thinking Miss Casewell. She's the most sus. She's, she's got the red hair. She's reminding me of Wadsworth. Yeah. So very sus. Next one. I think he, he's he's. Well, I don't know this guy's sus. It could be a red herring. Christopher Wren, also sus, but I don't know. Yeah. Mr. Paravicini. Is that close? <laughs> That's bad, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I don't know about him. I don't know. He could go either way for me. They're all. I don't, I, he looks kind of sus to me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think cravat. Sergeant Trotter is the most sus. He looks like he's look. He's look plotting. His body language. He's plotting. And he's got a pen and paper. He's nervous. Oh wait, maybe he's a detective. Yeah, Whoa. he's a detective. It's detective oh, I did. Trotter. I didn't read that part. Okay, predictions Welcome. are in. Welcome to the uh, St. Martin Theater, which is over 100 years old. But you can tell if you listen closely to the music and get the master. Hey! Hi! So we just got back from the show. Our first show in, in West End. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do our, our ratings and reviews now. So the St. Martin's Theater, there's some really interesting old historic stuff about it, but let's just say it's old yeah and it's small it's very intimate which is a pro so that was like a pro con we went up to like the lounge area before the show which maybe held 15 people yeah i'll put the clip and it was like 150 degrees it was so hot yeah that's a con it is pretty warm in here um yeah the heat stroke from the um bar area was was a con five. one to five um, I give it a um, three out of five. I think I'd give it a three point five out of five because I really liked how intimate and personal the show was. So this was Agatha Christie's The Mouse Trap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, first of all, it's a whodunit. Just to give a little bit of background, Mouse Trap is celebrating its seventieth year. It is the longest running show on Broadway, and they've done. 29,217 shows. Yep. Pretty classic for its genre. Mm -hmm. um, I would give it... I liked it. I would give it a four. I liked it too. I liked it too. Um, uh, I give it probably mm, four. 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 Um, we got... We get to the stage door so that we can, like, meet all of the... Um, actors and stuff and we got um we got to meet some of the cast and it was really cool we were not 100 percent prepared for this experience because no. it was the first time we'd ever done it so you have to buy a program they don't just give you one but we did that which was good and then we didn't have a sharpie we just had a purple ballpoint pen purple so pen. the stage door guy actually hooked us up because he was like here use this so yeah that was the uh, the mouse trap. Yep, and tomorrow is the play that goes on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so see ya tomorrow. Good night. Bye.